There's a cool technique you can try in Inkscape where you merge two silhouettes together. So here I've got one silhouette and it's a dragon. So I'm just going to make this a bit smaller. I'm holding down control and that keeps the aspect ratio the same. So I've got my dragon here. Now I'm going to go file, import, and I'm going to import my second silhouette. My second silhouette is of this warrior lady. Now what I'm going to do is to shrink this down. And again, I'm just holding down control and that keeps the aspect ratio locked. And then I'm going to just lay this over top of the dragon. Now it's tough to see, right? Because if you wanted to make a t-shirt, you don't want to have two black vectors on top of each other. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to change this to white. And I simply do that by going down here to the color palette. And now she's white. Now you can't see it because the background's white. So I'm going to change the background so that it's not white at all. I'm going to go file, document properties. And then over on the bottom right, there's a little checkerboard background. So now I can see the white vector. So I'm just going to lay the white vector over top and I'm going to make it a tiny bit smaller. And I'll put it right like that. Notice how it's not inside the dragon. It's touching the dragon. So imagine now, I'm actually going to make the sword touch the outside as well. So the sword's touching right there and the foot is touching right there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to merge these two together and cut out the woman so that this becomes one vector. So this will be really helpful if you're using like a Cricut machine or a cutting machine. So pretty easy to do. I'm just going to select both. Now I could just go control A. That selects both. So I'll just click outside. Control A. You'll see it selects both. Or you could just select one vector, hold down the shift key and select the other vector. So now I've got both and I'm going to go up to path, difference. And you can see there now they're combined into one vector. So I can move this around as one. I can open up the nodes and I can see it's all just one. Now I'm going to remove this little piece inside here because I just want to have this be one vector. So I'm just going to open up the little nodes tool, edit paths by nodes. I'm going to highlight that little piece and just hit the delete key. I'll do the same thing right here. I'll click the delete key and now I've got a nice clean vector that I can use and I can even change the color down below and you'll see there is no white anymore. It's now a true outline. A dragon, a little ninja lady, and this would look great on a t-shirt, coffee mug, any sort of apparel. Hope you enjoyed this video and here's another Inkscape video so you can level up your Inkscape superpowers. Thank you so much for watching.